and I'll select these two little edges here. Let's click Accept. And I did it. I created an error. The SolidWorks What's Wrong box has popped up. Let's see what the Feature Expert has to say about how we can solve this problem. Let's click the Feature Expert button. Feature Expert is resolving and finishing up for us. That's pretty cool. Seems to be okay now. Notice that instead of one fillet, SolidWorks added two more fillets to our design, fillets three and four as well. Go to Isometric. We're done filleting this part of the project, so let's bring in the Mirror tool. I'll mirror across the front plane, select it right here. Now let's expand the Bodies to Mirror section of the Property Manager and select our entire part. Click OK. We're ready to do some more cosmetic touch-ups. Let's apply some full round fillets. Fillet tool, full round fillet type, first face, second face, face number three. There's our preview. Click OK. Let's apply a couple more full round fillets. The type is pre-selected. Let's select our first face. I'll just zoom in a bit so I can see better. Second face. And my third face. Let's click OK. One more. Activate the fillet command. Full round fillet. First face. Second face. And I'm looking for face number three. Here we go. Oops, I didn't activate the selection box for face number three. Let's do that and reselect the face. Click OK. Hmm, I'd like to apply another fillet. Let's activate the tool again. Constant size. Three millimeter radius is fine. And let's select this edge and this edge. Actually, let me select the face instead. I'll delete those selections. Delete that as well. And let's select the face. There's our preview. On this side as well. Over here too. Remember, I've still got the tangent propagation option checked. That's why all the edges with some tangency are also selected when I select an edge. There we go. And here too. And that should do it. Let's click OK. Let's take an isometric view to better see our part. Looks good. And this concludes our bracket exercise.